но играет рваными цепями. Осень доползем ли, долетим ли до рассвета, что же будет с Родиной с нами? О, осень доползем ли, долетим ли до рассвета, осень, что же будет завтра с нами? Beginning to tell the truth, we were a bit uh, uh, afraid uh, that you know, these people uh, can't manage to forget their former uh, conflict. But uh, at the end, um, we are really very happy that the team managed uh, <coughs> to forget everything and to take a step forward uh, to new relations. One positive result of uh, this training was that uh, uh, the uh, last day of uh, last day of the seminar, together with participants, we drafted a new project uh, for a new meeting and to involve more people to our activities to break uh, barriers between uh, young people from different backgrounds and especially from coming from conflict sites. So I hope that they will join uh, our international network that we are uh, trying to build uh, uh, and uh, have, uh, they will participate in the first uh, network meeting uh, in Moto. She faces uh, in uh, Vatican, uh, some problems, uh, some difficulties here. Uh, I said that uh, some uh, from uh, some uh, Christian, uh, sorry, from some uh, Islamic rules here, and uh, I think uh, some um, uh, Christian life uh, influence uh, to decrease to perform uh, Islamic rules here. Maybe uh, because uh, from uh, her uh, traditional clothes. Sorry, what was the reason of her displacement? Maybe uh, she had intention. Yeah, okay. interesting uh, yeah. for uh, Europe. Europe. So she was not displaced, but she was liberated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. this, I'm telling about the different situation. Huh? You, are, yeah. you have your own story. I'm telling what I've read in the press. Mm -hmm. So this is happening really. Yeah. So some people, like this Aisha, think that the religion is, is not the most important thing in her life. So she wants to see something else too, to understand her way of living in the end of her life, you understand? So you wanted to say this, that she's interested in having new experience. That's what you, I think yeah. you wanted to say this. And this would be a comparison between these two girls, this Croatia and my uh, person from the press, yeah? Who was forced to move and one who was not forced, but she thought before I'm forced to move, I will leave myself, you understand? Yeah. Because of my uh, opinions and some things, yes. you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is that uh, Baba's story is not about being refugees, it's about migration. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, that's what I mentioned. Yeah, it's, it's not being a refugee, it's to be a migrant. Yeah. So, the feelings about the girls, about this girl. Yeah, I understand, but in the film it's not mentioned whether she was the only one who was out of the country. Yeah? I think the boy was not forced. Many people have been moved from uh, this kind of uh, problems, situations yeah. from uh, eastern countries to western countries, yes. Yeah. So maybe that, that was, that's why I had this question. Feel yourself in Miriam's shoes, maybe how you would feel? Because after we... I would move. You would move. Before the new government came, I'm not supporting or something, anyway. It was very uh, terrible. Everyone had killed people. Uh, tanks, people with arms, and terrible things. Uh, and at that time, at that time, in Georgia was very uh, hard situation. Uh, and even even uh, local people had uh, had to uh, feed their families uh, with the, with the hard to feed their families. And um, and plus uh, the uh, the refugees um, came to their uh, to their land and uh, to their uh, homes and uh, they started to you know uh, feed their families with uh, with a different different uh, um, with different ways and uh, this was the reason that uh, so someone said that oh you, you know I, I know two refugees were uh, were robbing someone and uh, it, it was spreading the information was spreading from neighbors to neighbors even and if they were not robbing. Even yes, that's right. They are afraid they will lose their job, and the other one will get. So the comp the competition 
who grew in the field of the job, getting a job. So they were afraid that 300,000 people coming into Tbilisi would be a very, very big problem for them, and they were afraid not to lose their own jobs too. And they were quite, so quite so fair with it. Yeah, I understand. So I just, my question was, uh, if they understand that it was some kind of stereotype vision of about these yeah. people, because the local people still doing the criminal things like uh, they, yes, but they, uh, but they, uh, they, they, they just did. saw about this guy who yes. is not right. local. They are just doing some criminal. Oh, look, they are all criminals. They were different yeah, now, because yeah. of their language. That was well, the, the, of the, the stereo diet. stereotyping uh, was yeah, that's that what defining them. The stereotyping was that uh, because of uh, um, the, the society was a little bit different from the local society. And uh, when the local society, someone says that, you know, I, ha um, uh, I, um, I heard that, that um, several people from, uh, uh, several refugees robbed someone, you know, and uh, the different person said the same, yeah. you know, as, uh, you are stereotyping uh, all those uh, uh, refugees in, in, uh, in, one, in one group, you know. Our time, she arrived to her native place, and we did a village where I was born. After last war uh, in Georgia, he arrived in Germany, and she likes her new home, but, needs, uh, but she loses of all the uh, land of home. She's continuing studying at university. She wants to be a lawyer, but she has a different opinion. She thinks everything is designed by private relations, and uh, she thinks other people can receive from uh, government more help than IDPs uh, like her. Mm. Her family has many uh, social problems, and she doesn't think that anyone will help um, them. Uh, so she doesn't believe in a getting job by uh, professional skills. She believes in private relations. I think she's a beautiful girl. She's very clever, and uh, I hope uh, I will wish you a successful in her future life. Uh, but uh, when I talk with her, I discovered um, some. Uh, a wall with, uh, between us because uh, she built a wall uh, around her and she uh, she is afraid uh, everyone wants to harm to her and uh, uh, I think it is an important problem to integration of refugees and um, I she wants to change her life uh, but she doesn't believe that that she can do it. And she's desperate and afraid. She's a disappointed. And uh, I think we can help her, um, and uh, not only her, uh, to uh, share knowledge uh, and learn to them to be active in an uh, integration process. Why children should have? Um, I think it's about uh, arresting non arresting children. And someone who fights for human rights. It's like ombudsman, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> children's, uh, in children's case, I think they have to be secure to be prevented from the violence in school, especially. And uh, from violence in family as well, but mostly in schools because it's quite a uh, non-clear situation nowadays for our country. Well, to be protected. Yeah, to feel more secure in their, in their school. To like small organization, mm -hmm. but this is the mission very similar with Red Cross. Mm -hmm. It's Sisters of Virtue, discrimination, mm -hmm. uh, race, racial discrimination when white people discriminate mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. For example, in, 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 in Georgia, in the state of Georgia, in the United mm -hmm. States, it's vice versa. In New York, black, in Holland, black, no black white people. Yeah, black people are discriminating white. First, what? what no. uh, we, we established uh, this organization for disadvantaged 
neighborhoods, maybe a conflict areas mm -hmm. for a Karabakh. Uh, mm -hmm. this. So all of these uh, conflict, uh, who, lives, mm -hmm. who live in the conflict area. And when was uh, how old you, was you when uh, when your father and mother left you? Uh, as uh, I was told, two years old. Two years old? Can you write it down? How old was uh, old was your sister when? Uh, how old is she now? She now, yeah, that's good. How? She's twenty-five. Twenty-five. And how old was she when was she when, she left you? Oh, when, she, when uh, your parents left you? She was. She was. Okay, just write down. Was, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, write down, write it down. What if your sister was silent yeah. when they left? She don't know where I mean. She doesn't know. No, she doesn't know. I don't really know. Whose surname is this? Father's or mother's? I don't know. I mean, okay, write down, write down your situation. Yes. Who brought you up? The lady. Lady? It was a long time that we uh, lived in this country, but once the earthquake uh, uh, mostly destroyed our house, so now it's a crack on the wall uh, in our house. And uh, so you for have me, a house. it's impossible. You have a house. Yes, we have a house, of course. Do you remember the uh, city? It's what the city X? Okay, <laughs> so you remember your deeds. What? <laughs> Uh, I'm a doctor in my hometown. And what does your sister do? Uh, she is a teacher. Teacher? She is, yes, uh, language. She teacher. was teaching something or? Yes, she is yeah. language. Does teacher. she have any <laughs> mental problem? Mental problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in your country. When my house was cracked in the wall and you know, one day it will destroy it and maybe I will be in the Maybe you should ask the government to what, to stop you know, to repair your house or to you know, settle you on the different side of the uh, country where yes, there's we no discover that, that all our country, uh, the earthquakes, uh, is, are possible in all the places in our country. But one is safer and another part is... But for me it's anyway. So one more question. If your parents were dead, do you live alone? We all this together. time. Only you two sisters? Yes. yes. And not anybody. I was 20. I started working. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Who wants to get to the next server? That's why you are coming here from our, to our country. What is the reason that reason? you are coming why? to the country? Because um, my country is uh, war. War? Yes. Or earthquake? Okay. No. Where do you live? You live alone? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's your profession? My profession is main hotel manager. And where do you work? Um, I have no idea. You don't have a job. How do you live? For uh, government? Or government? How do you earn money? How do you earn money? I have no home. Okay. Why do you want to move to another country if you have a cousin? Born here? Okay. okay. When you were in Rome, and how old was your brother when your mother died? I know you can come. <laughs> My cousin. I just a farmer. Farmer? Good. Yeah. Uh, we have a cocoa plant. Cocoa plant? Yes, yeah, cocoa plant. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah. yeah. Um, we have a cocoa plant uh, we have on the land, our territory, and property, it was our pro property, but the government uh, wanted to take our property. And do you think that's very political or No.
We wanted to live separate and they made demonstration, forced, forcing all the minorities. They declared itself a republic and demarked their borders. Then they had a controversy around it, its status, which had grown to armed conflict or war. People in this area tried to find found the new state, the Republic of Serbia. They protested the local parliament and asked to be free to leave them alone. One day they become separate, they separate their boundaries without agree agreement of parliament and parliament started the war. In uh, the strange country, there, I think there was uh, some problems uh, in this country. I, I don't know the name of this country, but uh, I think um, uh, they want uh, independent. Uh, they want uh, democratism in this country and uh, against for government uh, uh, and um, uh, especially to the parliament. Um, and uh, I, I, so uh, maybe uh, uh, there was an uh, accident uh, with the, among the people with the maybe bombs and other terrorists because uh, they want to uh, live alone. And uh, they call uh, all of the uh, people come and uh, leave us uh, in our uh, place. I think this place is a uh, village, a very strange uh, country. Uh, I support uh, them because I'm, uh, I'm a minority also. <laughs> uh, I think maybe uh, I'll be joined uh, in the future. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, they established also border uh, with the government in the in the inside of the country and um, separate uh, from the uh, government uh, and uh, take uh, protect uh, their rights and more rights and uh, also um, any placards any banners uh, <laughs> they wanted to kick me uh, because uh, they didn't uh, trust the journalists uh, because they sometimes the journalists uh, say uh, wrong information in the media so Okay. First it was peaceful, but then uh, Bergen is, uh, uh, then separatists forced the Bergen woman to left their territory, so she became refugee. Uh, and uh, but um, yeah, <laughs> yes. Uh, even after that, uh, Bergen didn't uh, react, but the communication was written when the separatists marked new borders of the Zerbabia, and lots of people have been injured during uh, the independent journey. Thank you. Uh, can I make a comment? Like uh, Baba said, I think. Then he said that maybe I joined them. This because I'm also a minority. So a journalist says. No. Uh, no. Well, he was journalist can't say like this. The yeah. journalist cannot say like this. And and he called Zimbabwea. Maybe I think it, it is a village. I understand. They paid Baba to make this and Baba, Baba forgot did. that he was injured. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He didn't get well, uh, we injured him, like injured him and we paid the team. It's kind of he was so happy that, that they that paid that them that, 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 that he, he even forgot that not not like, uh, no, he He was fatally injured, no, to, then nobody to say that he was paid. <laughs> well, and what about... So, so we're clever people. Yeah. Yeah. So we clever people, we need... Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> where the uh, the journalist mentioned that there were some bombs. Uh, Was it true? No, yeah. no, we, we no, used some no, guns. No, 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 maybe, maybe I said that. We'll he said the maybe. Future, maybe. So journalist should should journalist say maybe if no, he didn't no. check the information? Only the only the, the, the journalist who makes analytical. Uh, uh, they also mentioned a few foreigners there. They have to double check the information before they, I mean, they see that kind of thing. Well, actually, and Baba supported us, but... Uh, uh, he said, I may be supported them, because I'm also a minority. Uh, yes, but uh, actually he supported us. Um, maybe... How? Uh, he was uh, sharing his... Um, um, kind wishes? Kind wishes, <laughs> yeah, that's right. But the uh, journalist does not have... The uh, journalists have to be should be independent, not to support yes, to any country. Uh, well, uh, yes, but uh, in our situation, uh, it's, 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 it's good for us. 
It was no, I have to uh, say this report because uh, some collaboration with the minority group <laughs> with Javed so. So, even though you were supporting them, they beat you. Nobody remembers about this place, so nobody comes to check how they are. They just build, let them people in, and so and that's all. The problem is how robust over this we are. Who should us without food? Don't go over the whole house. Они обещают, но никогда они не идут, чтобы все это сделать. Они посели там у них на маленькие огороди, но там уже животные и все портится, потому что они ходят везде. Глебич, а мы делаем, да, гарит, вы, а мы делаем, будешь ли ты, да, и туалет, что, гарит, это выше. Эй, на джойси, спахали, и прела моге хар, и риалеса, санаво, и гириалеса, скани багаза, скани баги, лайди, ши, эпша, и риалеса, санаво, и гириалеса, чоро. Когда ты беженец, не дай бог, что без вас кто-нибудь стал таким, они уже становятся намного замкнуты и не готовы никаким коммуникациям. Они считают, что все, для нас все кончилось. Но сейчас прошла другая волна. Было так, что о, им о, говорили, вот вам этот дом, mm -hmm. вот это место, где этот дом расположен, это мы выдаем вам о, во владении. Mm -hmm. а, но им никто не говорил, что они должны были о, получать и статус беженца. А, сейчас... Ну, уже пол, через полтора года после войны, через сколько 8 месяцев, где-то э, 40% еще не получили статус беженца. Да. Если они становятся беженцами, естественно, это остается, что им видать во владении, но у них есть еще э, перманентные, так сказать, социальные пособия. Э, приходят э, специальные социальные агенты э, вот в этих домах, где живут беженцы, и смотрят, что у них есть там. Это все оцениваются разными баллами у нас. Вы хотите быть беженцами или хотите получить статус социально неимущих? По нашим законам и по международным законам это не противоречит друг другу. Они могут быть беженцами и могут быть социально неимущими. И получать обе по сути. Но правительство говорит, что нет, это вам выбирать. А разница в пособиях три лапы. 
быть социально неимущим – это лучше, потому что на 3 доллара больше получишь. И поэтому добровольно некоторые отказываются от статуса беженца. Вот в Западной Грузии есть село Янетри. Это Санкт-Петербургский район. Есть село, само село Янеты, и там э, начали заселяться вот эти люди из бежавшего 69 года, они заселились там несколько семей. И что получилось? Село здесь, а их поселение рядом. Они не в селе заселились, а рядом. Из села Янеты один не могли прийти в село Янеты покупать хлеб. Не из-за того, что здесь кто-то их побыл бы. Нет, они просто этого не хотели. А отсюда никто не приходил к ним, сказав, что вот вам хлеб. Просто э, очень э, э, трудное было э, их отношение. Сейчас немножко идет вот, размораживание этих отношений. Heard, 
then they uh, I I give uh, them notion what what my society. Mm -hmm. so, uh, IDPs would be um, I guess IDP should be uh, should not take part into this. Why? Uh, well, uh, because um, because some of the relatives of IDPs could be died. Uh, during this conflict, and because uh, she, uh, they will not, uh, they will not um, find compromises and uh, so on. Uh, the delegation goes from one side mm -hmm. to another side to meet another delegation to sit on around around the round table at the round table mm -hmm. yes. and think about how to solve their common problem. Well, I there guess, I should be or not involved IDPs. Yes, I think, I think of IDPs should be hard. I mean, uh, all of uh, all should be here. Ideas of IDPs and their point of view. <coughs> but in the, if, if we say that we will take those IDPs to negotiations, just imagine the person who uh, who uh, who lost a father in that war. It's, it would be very hard for that okay. person to negotiate with other parts. Okay, it, it is very hard. Of course, it's it's, yeah. it's uh, more difficult for him than for me or for yeah. That's course. right. That's but, right. Yeah, but but for it's a, just a subject. But how for him? It's a family. Yeah. Okay. Member. I understood. It's, but, yeah. Okay. I, I understood. Uh, thank you. But what do you think? How can uh, the the conflict be uh, resolved if uh, this difficulty is not uh, getting overcome? People forgive each other more easy on yeah, personal yeah. relations. Even even there was a, there was an example that even mothers who their children whose children died from another side from Abkhazian from uh, Georgian side the mothers found compromise like they forgave each other. So it means that on personal civil society level it's easier to reach than on political level because on political level there is another interest. No conflicts between people, there is conflicts be between politicians. We can't see you. We are. Yeah, but not now. With your permission, just I don't want to. Okay. It's a conference. And we are. And thanks to all the... Oh, yeah, well, well. Thank you very much. That's you want it so much. <laughs> thank everybody who uh, voted for me. <laughs> <laughs> now I thank all of you to come here and no participate sure. in the meeting. And our voter certificates. Yes, <laughs> First of all, I want to thank uh, all partners, especially Serbians and uh, Albanians, who contributed a lot to help us with this project. Uh, Thank you everybody and I want uh, also to thank uh, to our participants as a facilitator and uh, team Merkur and uh, trainer uh, I had a chance to participate once again and it was a good, good really good experience for me. I want to thank to the European Youth Foundation to supporting us uh, without the support. Uh, this meeting would, uh, wouldn't exist without this one. So thank you. Go 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 go! Why don't you? Step on my blue suede shoes. Hey hey hey! Get on, you give up, baby. Get on, you come on, blue suede shoes. Come on, dance, everybody. Blue suede shoes. Hey, open, I say, and you come on,